Hey everyone, I'm Don Lunare and this video is about two things. First off, I've done a tiny tiny update to the OpenRC F1 tire and I also wanted to tell you more about how I deliberately use under extrusion for those tires as well. Okay, so first off, I've done a tiny tiny design change to the OpenRC F1 tire. And this is the first tire uh, released with the F1 car. And it has a from side to side completely flat surface that is touching the ground. And what happened was I tried to make the tire a lot softer. And then since it's printed laying down, the bottom and top surface became way more rigid than the middle section. And that meant that while driving, only the sides were touching the ground. So what I did was I made the uh, contact surface slightly rounded. And now by watching the wear of the tire, it seems like uh, it's evenly distributed over the uh, entire surface. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And uh, if you want to try it out, I've uploaded it uh, to the sites where the F1 car is available. I've named it Tire V2. So download it if you like to play around with it, see what it's like. And yeah, obviously, as some people pointed out, printed tires are not as good as off the shelf tires, but I think they are way more fun since I've done them myself. So while trying to make a softer tire for the F1 car, I ended up using under extrusion for the infill on purpose. That way I could increase the amount of infill without getting that annoying hockey puck feeling. So this is the inside of the F1 tire and uh, the infill is printed with the correct extrusion rate and as you can see the honeycomb pattern is clearly visible but the tire itself will be way too rigid. So I started to work my way down from there decreasing the extrusion rate until I got this. And this is uh, nice and squishy and as you can see the honeycomb pattern isn't clearly visible anymore and the infill is barely wake making its way across the infill but it still does and if I would uh, decrease the infill even more I would probably end up with something like this. So there's a thin line from uh, extruding just enough and uh, extruding too little. So the values for this will be different from printer to printer, hardened to hardened and uh, the conditions of the hardware you're using but roughly I'm using uh, half the extrusion rate on the infill that I use uh, on the outside. So that can be something to aim for to, uh, if you want to try this out. So that's about it and I'm sure I've forgotten something if I did uh, ask me in the comment section down below and I will do my best to uh, answer them and as always if you like this video please comment, uh, share, like, subscribe and uh, I hope to show you guys more about uh, how I do things in the next video. Thanks for watching.